We've got a great list of dividend stocks for you today. Going overseas and focusing just on international stocks, we will take a look into Kevin O'Leary's All Shares Investment Index and see the kind of strategy Kevin O'Leary employs to find the dividend stocks that meet his criteria that have the highest yield. In the list today, Kevin's high yield stocks pay over 4% and the highest one on the list pays over 8 So be sure to stick around for that one. Oh, and did you know that Kevin O'Leary, who is not only a dividend investor, but is also Canadian born? In addition to his Canadian citizenship, he also has citizenship in Ireland and in the United Arab Emirates. Today, we look into Kevin O'Leary as part of our popular investor series. So be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, Investment Inspiration, for more stories and stocks of investors and their investments. So the key principles or rules behind Mr. O'Leary's investment strategy is more profits, more dividend growth, less leverage, and lower volatility. Sounds like a pretty good strategy to me. And in order to minimize risk while maximizing potential returns over time, Kevin realized that he wants to be able to own a company for the long haul, just like he does when he chooses his investments on the popular show Shark Tank. He invests for the long term. So he also utilizes this strategy when applying what stocks to buy. As you can see, his strategy has been beating the benchmark since this fund began. So how does he do this? First, he takes a look at the 500 largest Europe stocks by market cap. Then he scores them based on this chart here, looking at the company's quality, volatility, and yield. Then he employs what he calls risk controls, which is a form of diversification, no more than 5% of a single stock. And he limits the amount of each sector his index can hold. From there, the index is left with 50 stocks. These 50 stocks are quite amazing as the index, like I said before, since its session has beaten the benchmark index, the Eurostox 50, in total return while having a lower volatility. Alright, without further ado, let's dive into the 5 stocks with the highest yield provided by the indexes he has and leverage the research he uses along with his rules within the OEURX index to find the highest dividend yielding stocks that fit all of his criteria. And of course, starting off at the bottom, the maker of the wonderful Michelin Man, we have Michelin. Michelin, which is headquartered in Clermont Ferrand, France, continues to rank as one of the world's largest tire manufacturers, competing with leading brands like Bridgestone, Goodyear, and Continental. In addition to the flagship Michelin brand, the company also owns Kleber Tires, Unoroyal Goodrich Tire Company, Saskar, Bucatabo, and Camso. Michelin is widely recognized for its red and green travel guides, roadmaps, Michelin starred restaurant awards, and its iconic mascot, Bibindum, or the Michelin Man. Michelin provides tires for a diverse range of vehicles, from space shuttles and aircrafts to automobiles, heavy equipment, motorcycles, and even bicycles. In recent years, Michelin has expanded its commitment to sustainability and reduced environmental impact by increasing the use of renewable and recycled materials in its tires. Furthermore, the company has been actively involved in the development and promotion of of electronic and autonomous vehicle technology. Currently, Michelin has a dividend yield of 4.33%. Next on our list, we have Partners Group. Now, since its inception in 1996, Partners Group has emerged as a prominent international private market firm. The company has allocated more than $195 billion towards private equity, private debt, private real estate, and private infrastructure, catering to a global clientele. By leveraging growth trends and metamorphosing promising businesses and assets into industry frontrunners, Partners Group strives to yield robust returns. As a devoted and conscientious investor, the firm is dedicated to generating long-term, sustainable profits that positively influence 
all stakeholders involved. Partners Group currently has a dividend yield of 4.35%. Next on our list, we have Deutsche Post AG. Now, Deutsche Post DHL Group is a German multinational corporation specializing in package delivery and supply chain management. It's headquartered in Bonn, Germany, as one of the largest courier companies in the world, and it boasts an expansive reach. The postal division handles an impressive 61 million letters daily in Germany alone, making it Europe's largest company in the sector. Meanwhile, its parcel division, DHL, is a wholly owned subsidiary with a presence in over 220 countries and territories. The company emerged from the privatization of the German mail authority Deutsche Bund Post in 1995 and became fully independent in 2000. Since then, Deutsche Post DHL Group has grown considerably through numerous acquisitions. In 2014, the group acquired Street Scooter GmbH, a small electronic vehicle manufacturer. Currently, Deutsche Post has a dividend yield of 4.37%. Next on our list, we have SSE. Now, SSE is a multinational energy corporation based in Perth, Scotland, and it holds a prominent position in the energy sector. As a constituent of the FTSE 100 index, the company is publicly traded on the London Stock Exchange. SSE's operations span across the United Kingdom and Ireland, where it plays a crucial role in generating, transmitting, distributing, and supplying electricity, as well as producing, storing, distributing, and supplying gas. With a commitment to sustainability, SSE is focused on reducing its carbon footprint by investing in renewable energy sources such as wind, hydro, and solar power. The company is striving to achieve a low carbon energy system and aims to be a leading force in the transition toward net zero emissions. Through its dedication to customer satisfaction, innovation, and environmentally responsibility, SSE continues to be a key player in the energy market and contributes to a greener future for generations to come. Currently, SSE has a dividend yield of 4.81%. Now last on our list, and paying over 8%, a name I'm sure my American viewers know, BMW, or, and I hope I pronounce this kind of close, Bayerisch Motoren Werk. BMW is a renowned German multinational corporation specializing in the production of luxury vehicles and motorcycles. Headquartered in Munich, Bavaria, Germany, the company was established in 1916 initially manufacturing aircraft engines from 1917 to 1918, and then again from 1933 to 1945, today BMW markets automobiles under BMW, Mini, and Rolls-Royce brands, while motorcycles fall under the BMW Motorrad brand. In 2023, BMW stood as the world's 15th most valuable brands worldwide. The company boasts a rich history in motorsports, particularly in touring cars, sports cars, and the Isle of Man TT. BMW's continued success and the global reach make it a leading player in the luxury automobile and motorcycle markets. BMW pays a dividend yield of 8.28%. I hope you enjoyed this list of high dividend stocks from the O Shares Index. For more top socks by famous investors, be sure to check out our famous investor playlist and we'll see you in the next video.